The solar salespeople that are selling you microinverters are lying to you. Let me get into the reasons why. So first, a little history lesson about inverters for residential solar here in the US. So the Coke and Pepsi of inverters for residential solar here in the United States are from a company called Enphase and a company called Solar Edge. And they make two pretty different systems, but both of them solve a couple of problems that are pretty major and made them leap to be the Coke and Pepsi in the marketplace. So the first thing is that both of them solve the shade problem, which is a problem when you have solar just wired with a string inverter, and if you have one panel in an array that gets shade or snow or isn't producing properly, the rest of that array will also produce at that lower level. And that's a huge problem. Both microinverters and the Solar Edge system solve this problem. The other thing that Solar Edge and Enphase did in designing their inverter systems was comply with federal electrical code. Both systems, there are modular level electronics, in other words, a little electronic piece under each solar panel that combats arcing problems, so you can't have arcing on the roof that would cause fires, and it gives you rapid shutdown of the system. So those two things are very, very important and comply with federal electrical code. They also really helpfully give you access to the system through monitoring at the panel level. So as a consumer or as a solar company, you can look at the system and see specifically if there's a single panel down. If you don't have modular electronics, you can't do that. And in many cases, if you have a 30 panel system or even a 20 panel system, and there's one or two panels down, you may absolutely never know. And your system may just always produce slightly under and you didn't even know why or how. For those reasons, Enphase and Solar Edge have really been the one and two choice for residential solar installers and therefore really pretty much the only choice for most residential solar companies. There are tons of other manufacturers who make very good equipment, just like there are other colas, but Coke and Pepsi are the ones that most people drink. Same with Solar Edge and Enphase in the residential market here in the US. But here's the thing, every time that I have seen a proposal or heard about how Enphase is pitched to the end consumer, the way that they pitch it is, well, Enphase is a microinverter, which means that it has the ability to solve the shade problem by inverting the electricity at each panel, therefore making each panel work independently. And therefore, if snow or shade or obstructions or whatever are on shading one panel, it only affects that panel it does not affect the rest of the array. And everyone else is trying to sell you string inverters and string inverters have that problem. And so they're a terrible system. So your only solution is to go with Enphase and microinverters. This is just absolutely untrue. While Enphase does, the microinverters do solve that shade problem, their Solar Edge, the Coke or Pepsi, depending on which perspective you have, the other big choice of for inverters for residential solar systems here in the US, solves exactly the same problem, but they just do it differently. They don't shrink down the inverter technology, they just put an optimizer under every panel. The optimizer gives you all of the things that the microinverters do. It gives you modular level electronics, which, you know, take care of any arcing issues, they provide rapid shutdown, and they provide panel level monitoring for the consumer and the solar company. So they do all those things exactly the same, but there are lots of advantages to having a optimizer instead of a microinverter, in my opinion. I think inverters are more, way more likely to fail, they're doing a very hard job. I think that the microinverter, you're going to have all of those fail probably on your system at some point and have to get them fixed. I think the microinverters are a bad choice for that reason. I think that optimizers are less likely to fail and therefore you are more likely to have more uptime on your system. And then as I've said in lots of other videos, another thing that really I think is terrible about microinverters is that they have AC coming off the roof. So if you need to couple it with a battery, you need to invert it to get it into the battery, invert it again to get it out of the battery, and therefore you're inverting it three times, which is absolutely ridiculous. So having DC come off off the roof with the solar edge system means you can couple it with a battery and have a DC coupled battery and solar system, which is much more efficient, has tons of advantages, and I think it's just a better system overall. Not to say that Enphase is a bad system. It's a perfectly good system. There's millions of homeowners who have it. It works fantastic. I just think it's not quite as good for a couple of reasons as the solar edge system. And I think that if the Enphase system is being portrayed to you by the solar salesperson as the only system that will solve this shading problem effectively, then they are absolutely misleading you, lying 
lying to you and you should not trust them because that is on the face of it just completely untrue. If you're looking into going solar, I can probably help. Just click the link below. You'll get a free 30 minute consultation with me, Brad the Solar Guy. I'll answer all your questions and give you a proposal in writing. I hope this was helpful. If you found this video helpful, maybe you'll find some of my other videos helpful.